Welcome to part two of the biggest industry screw job ever. Now I've got good news, I've got shocking news, and I've got bad news. Here's a quick recap. Unlike everybody else, the physical copies of our new album, The Brave, will not be counted towards the Billboard charts. The good news is we are number one, independently, on eight different Billboard charts with our new album, The Brave. And that doesn't even include solo artist charts. That's just album charts. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Billboard even wrote an article about how incredible we did. So first and foremost, Thank you. This is an incredible feat to accomplish for any artist, even major label artists. And we did it independently. And when I say we, I mean me and Adam and Nova and all of you guys. The eight number ones you see on the charts right now only exist solely because of you. I pointed out what I felt like were injustices. I let you guys know that I felt like we weren't being given a fair shake and all of you rallied with me. This is literally what raging against the machine can accomplish. The most valuable tool of change is one very simple thing, information. I gave you all the information I had about how they were doing us dirty and screwing us on these charts. And let me be very clear, we did not get the change that we were after, but we made a massive impact. And speaking of powerful information, I have more for you. Let's get into the bad and shocking news, shall we? First of all, y'all remember that data collection company we were talking about? The one who reports all of our downloads, streams, and views to Billboard? The one who refused to count our physical albums towards these charts? Well, that data company and Billboard are both owned by the same global media company. I just found that out. Which explains why Billboard took zero action when we reported to them that the data collection company was refusing to count our physical sales. We just gotta suck it up and move on. And like I said in my last video, I don't really have a problem with Billboard. Billboard's always treated us really good. But I'd be lying if I said when I found out that they were a part of a massively dysfunctional system that it wasn't extremely frustrating and disheartening. Billboard, I am hella disappointed in you. <sighs> anyway, let's get into the specifics about the charts that were released today. Remember Remember that article I talked about that Billboard released about how incredibly successful our new album was? Check this out. <clears throat> it says, and I quote, Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun's The Brave bows at number one on Billboard's top album sales charts, selling 16,000 copies in the US in the week ending March 10th, according to the data collection company. Now, note that they are only referencing digital copies when they're talking about these 16,000 units. It goes on to say this, Elsewhere in the top 10 of top album sales, Dolly Parton's new Run Rose Run starts at number two. One Direction's former number one, Four, re-enters at number three after a new vinyl release. Now, further down in the article, they reference Dolly Parton and One Direction again. Also, shout out to Dolly Parton. She is a badass and a legend. And my girlfriend Nova like loves Nick Jonas, so shout out to One Direction too. Or did Nick Jonas in the Jonas? Whatever, who cares? Anyway, and I quote, of Run Run Rose's 15,500 copies sold, physical sales comprise of 11,500, and digital sales comprise of 4,000. One Direction, who Nick Jonas is not in, One Direction's former number one, Four, returns to top album sales, re-entering at number three after a new red vinyl pressing was released exclusively via Urban Outfitters. In total, in the week ending March 10th, Four sold 9,000 copies. Nearly all from vinyl sales. So they're counting Dolly Parton's physical CD sales, and they're counting One Direction's vinyl sales, but they're refusing to count mine and Adam Calhoun's physical CD sales for the Brave? Real freaking cool, guys. Real cool. Now, you might be wondering, Tom, I get it. They wouldn't count your physical CDs, and that's a pain in the butt. But how big of a difference would that really make? Aha! Let me tell you exactly how big of a difference that would make. At the beginning of this video, I told you about the eight number ones that our new album, The Brave, had racked up. However, there are two very important charts that I did not mention. The Billboard Top 200 album chart and the Billboard Independent Albums chart. Let's get into how we did on those charts, shall we? First, let's look at the Billboard Top 200 charts. Easily the most prestigious of all Billboard album charts. Our new album, The Brave, charted at 14. Had our physical albums been accounted for, we would have landed at number two, with less than 2,000 units separating us from the number one spot on the most prestigious Billboard album chart in existence. That's a difference of 12 very important spots. And that's a big friggin' deal, dude. Furthermore, we had planned to release our physical albums and our digital albums on the same day weeks ago. But because of our extremely long, 
frustrating, and ultimately pointless conversation with the data collection company, we were forced to change an entire six week campaign and release our digital albums and physical albums on different dates. <laughs> now this is the craziest part to me. Let's take a look at the Billboard independent album charts. Our new album, The Brave, charted at number four. You might be wondering, how is the biggest independent album with eight number ones fourth on the independent album charts? Well, I'll tell you. But first you have to understand how Billboard defines independent. And I quote, though not clearly defined, an independent record label is generally considered to be any label that is not part of the big three record companies, which consist of Sony Music Entertainment, Warner Music Group, and Universal Music Group, okay? Billboard cites the following definition for use on their top independent albums charts. For Billboard charting purposes, defining an independent album is done on a title level and based on its distribution. Okay. If an album is sold by an independent distributor, or one of the major labels independent distribution arms, it is classified as an independent title and can chart on our top independent albums tally. <laughs> what? Note that this definition does not exclude record labels owned by other large corporations from being classified as independent. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> you, you can't make this stuff up. You could not write this if you tried. I mean, apparently they did try and they wrote it and, and there it is and it's, it's, it's horse hockey. So to top the independent albums charts, you don't even have to be independent. You know, this whole thing is wrapped up in so much bureaucracy and BS and parent companies and conglomerates and monopolies and blah blah blah. It's like, can we just admit at this point that the game is rigged? Major labels and mainstream artists have the entire industry on lock. Can't you just give the independent awards to the truly independent artists? This is the independent albums charts. You can do your own research on the chart, but in my mind, you don't have to look any further than number one. Encanto distributed by Disney. Disney's independent? Seriously? Walt f***ing Disney? Disney's net worth is 97 billion dollars. They have their own streaming channel on Apple TV. They're one of the most renowned household names on planet Earth. And you're telling me that it's appropriate that Walt Disney competes with us on the same charts? So your answer is, our new album The Brave is number four on the independent album charts because in no way, shape, or form do these charts accurately represent truly independent artists. The independent artists who write their own music, produce their own music, release their own music, invest all of their time, money, and energy into the success of their own music without any help from any record label of any kind. And no 97 billion Disney dollars either. So don't get me wrong, these eight number ones are extremely cool. It's a demonstration of how powerful people are when they're up against the machine. But as cool as these eight number ones may be, they are not the Billboard Top 200. And to go number one or number two or even top five on the Billboard Top 200 can have a real major positive impact on an independent artist's career. These eight number ones are the industry's way of acknowledging the absolute bare minimum and expecting us to dance around our living rooms in celebration. Look, I'm not being ungrateful, but looking at something from the outside in doesn't always give you an accurate picture of the situation. You can use this quote across the many varied situations that you'll encounter in life. If we celebrate the crumbs, then it is crumbs that we are given. So instead of celebrating, I will just say that I am extremely proud of all of us rising to the occasion together. I will say that I am incredibly thankful for each and every single one of you who joined me in this charge against the mainstream music industry. I will say that I will forever cherish these accolades and look back at this situation as a massive success. But I will not celebrate a small victory when we were screwed out of the opportunity to win the war. So the fight continues for all independent musicians everywhere. And the fight will continue until we're given the same appreciation, respect, and acknowledgement that all of the major label artists are given by the powers that be who have deemed them worthy. The music industry has once again found a way to screw the little guy, but that's not a reason to stop. It's a reason to go. One way or another, there will be a positive revolution within the music industry in regards to independent artists. And we'll be able to look back on these videos and this situation and this point in time, and we'll be able to say, hey, I was integral in that. We were the torch bearers that started that revolution. No matter how many losses it takes to get there, we're part of history.
congratulations to everybody out there on these eight number ones. It's an incredible achievement. I love you all. Thank you once again. It's Hangover Gang forever. Peace.